Hi there folks, well, welcome back to my channel and for this video I've stopped off in the town of Falkirk and I had always planned on coming back and doing a video in the town because in my last visit I was really only able to stop off and visit the Trinity Church which is also known as the Falkirk which I have kind of came across a theory that that's where they get the, t the, the name Falkirk from that it's an adaptation of for Kirk. But interesting idea. I'm not too sure how much if that is true, but it's kind of an interesting way of looking at it. Uh, so I'd visited there and it was I'd shared the video and it was brought to my attention that I'd actually walked by the grave of somebody else who had fought alongside uh, William Wallace at Falkirk and who had died and his name was Sir John Stewart. So I will be going for a wander around the town and I will be trying to get, get back up to the Falkirk uh, or Trinity Church and try and find this gravestone. I have seen a photo of what it looks like so hopefully I'll be able to find it and I'm pretty sure it is, I, oh, I have been told it's kind of quite close to Sir John de Graham's grave so it, sh it should be kind of one that I should be able to find. And yeah, so hopefully you'll enjoy what you see in, in Falkirk itself. Hopefully you'll enjoy this video. And if you are enjoying my videos, if you are enjoying my channel, just click on that subscriber button, click on that notification bell, leave some likes, leave some comments. It's always really appreciated. And if you're wanting to support the channel further, I will post a link to the channel's coffee.com uh, page in the description bar below and I'll also put in a pinned comment in the comment section. So I'm going to just grab my things, head on out and go for a wander. Oh, this is me just coming into the town centre. the street that I parked on before so I'm just going to cross over and I'm going up to the Kirk get video footage for you for there yeah that's me back in the graveyard for the Trinity Church or the Falkirk and yeah the steps up from the high street are fairly steep so I think I can actually see the the graves that I'm coming to see just around the corner so I'm going to turn the camera around and wander up and see if that's the right one that's so That's the one I came to see before. Yeah, and this is the one that I kind of walked past that and realised. So it's Sir John Stewart, who was killed at the Battle of Falkirk, 22nd of July 1298. Also, to be a descendant, an ancestor of Mary Queen of Scots and Lord Darnley. Yes, yeah, another gravestone that somebody pointed out to me on Facebook. So, Sir, Sir Robert Munro, who died at the Battle of uh, Falkirk Moor, which is in uh, 1746. You can read that. Uh, so I think, I'm guessing that's the second Battle of Falkirk. Uh, some of the detail on this grave is quite, quite interesting. There's 
quite a long, long inscription. Kind of commemorating them. There's the Falkirk steeple, which is the heritage centre. Yeah, I've just come down one of the side streets off the main street. This one's called Cow Wind. I think this is uh, the one that a lot of the, uh, the drovers use when they're kind of taking their cows to and from pasture. Which was just outside the town. It's a really cute street. Yeah, I was talking to a local person just then, they were telling me about this. It's called the Tatty Kirk. It's just around the corner from where I am, I can actually just see it. And it's just off the Cow Wind. Actually the main road that's passing just on my right hand side. And it is a rare octagonal church. So... I think it's been turned into houses. Yes, houses now. But that there is the Tatty Kirk. So that's just a replica of the information board that's over over there. Yeah, nice, it's a nice building to live in. Uh, that over there is the Wheat Sheaf Inn, which is the oldest pub in Falkirk. Uh, 
Now it's saying here that it was established in 1797. Which makes it a fair age. Well, that's me back from my wander around Falkirk. And yeah, there's definitely more in the town than I was expecting to find. And it's just definitely wee hidden gems like uh, the wheat shoe fin, we've got the uh, the, t the tatty kirk and, and it's just speak of things that can hidden up back streets and just round corners that you wouldn't really think about going and finding because there's really nothing to say oh yeah that's that's down there so I think that's part of the fun of talking to locals and like essentially talk to people that you come across when you when you are out places that they might, they might know something that you might not have heard of and that can really help when you when you are looking for wee hidden gems, and I do really do enjoy like talking to to folk who yeah, who, who can point me in the, in the direction of things that I might not find otherwise. So I've definitely enjoyed my wee trip to to Falkirk, and if you are coming, is it okay? You can obviously come by car. Uh, and there are two train stations in the town. There's the Falkirk High and there's Falkirk Grahamston. I think Falkirk Grahamston's closer to the town centre. And yeah, so but def definitely options for travelling into the town. If you want to come visit, spend some time, go for and explore. So hopefully you all enjoyed what you saw in this video and I'll see you all in the next one. Bye bye.